All right, still working on Drosophila and still looking at some sex-linked traits, but now we've switched over to looking at eye colors, and the eye color of Drosophila is unimaginably complicated. Let's see if we can figure this out. Eye color is determined by two different genes on two different chromosomes. There's a dominant gene, Big B, on one autosomal chromosome, or autosome. So we have Big B is one allele, and then on another chromosome, the sex chromosome, we have X big V. And we'll come back to the colors in a second, I just want to get all the alleles down first. We have the recessive allele B, they shouldn't really say recessive gene, it should be recessive allele, along with dominant XV produces that, and then there's X little v. And, of course, there's a Y chromosome, which, as usual, won't have either of the V traits on it. Because females need to have eyes, too, and you don't want to put in any critical information on the Y chromosome because half of your species won't have that. So these traits pretty much always are attached to the X chromosome. Uh, presence of... okay. I guess I can't put it off any longer. We have to figure out these colors. Presence of dominant B and the dominant V produces wild type eyes, also known as red eyes. So if you have big B something and X big V something that is red or wild. I'm not going to have room there, it's going to have to go here. Wild type eyes, also known as red eyes. Okay. Recessive gene in a homozygous condition, so little b, little b, along with X big V, produces brown eyes. And we don't, apparently it doesn't matter what that other one is. Gives you a brown eyed fruit fly. The dominant B with the recessive X, so big B, and this doesn't matter because we already have the dominant, and then X little v. in a homozygous condition, sorry, so x little v, x little v produces vermilion eyes and if you have the brown and vermilion alleles, so little b, little b little v, little v produces white Okay, so both dominants, recessive B, dominant V, dominant B, recessive V, and recessive for both. That's all the combinations. Not too bad, I guess. And now they give us a cross. So we have wild-type female crossed with white-eyed male. What can happen? Well, our usual procedure is figure out the gametes that can come from each parent first, and then we'll do a Punnett chart and see what comes out of there. Well. This is a great mom because she only has one type of egg. She can only pass on big B, that's all she has, and X big V, that's all she has. Fairly straightforward. And dad, there are two possibilities. Definitely he's going to pass on a little B, that's all he has there. But he could pass on X little V, or he could pass on the little B and his Y chromosome. So, it's just a one by two punnet. Here's mom's big B, big V, and dad is either little B, little V, or little B, Y. And when you combine those, dominant before recessive, and both of these are little no, sorry, this is big V. Jeez. Tricky letter to work with, especially when I'm writing small in the first place. Okay, and then here we get big B, little b, x big V. Let's exaggerate that a little more. And Y. Okay, so those are the genotypes. Fine. And what is what do we get for phenotypes from this? Here we have, first of all, XX means it's a female. 
And what do her eyes look like? Big B, and she has big V, means she has wild or red eyes. So, same as her mom. This one is XY, so it's a male. And their eyes are, oh, big B and big B, they're wild also. So, because the mom had two copies of the wild alleles, she had the big B and the big V, all of her offspring get that and they all get her eyes. And as far as their sex, that's a, that's a question of whether they get the X chromosome or the Y chromosome from their dad. Essentially, in animals like this, the gender is always determined by the male because the mother is always going to contribute an X chromosome, that's all she has, and the father either will contribute an X producing a daughter or a Y producing a son. So whatever the sex of the offspring is, that's determined by the sperm cell, not by the egg. Eggs don't have any variety in that way. They always contain an X chromosome because that's the only thing that females can pass on. Males, it's a 50-50 whether their offspring will get this or this.